Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today we have a very, very awesome review of the brand new summer set, the Mega Bloks Halo UNSC Rhino. Now this set will cost you $80. I bought it online at toywiz.com. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have great deals on everything, and they're just a really cool company, so if you need Mega Bloks stuff, they're the place to go to. But before we get started, I just want to show you that the manual is very big. Very rem reminiscent of the uh, Pelican manual. One of those mammoth ones. But let's start off with the box. Pretty big box. Got all your information, your basic info right there. The Mega Bloks Halo logo. And then the new Halo 4 Master Chief right there. And then, of course, the army thing. And you just got all the stuff going on here. But on the back, it advertises all the new ones. All these reviews will be coming soon. And I'm uh, still trying to get this set for you guys, but it's extremely hard to find. So if you know where to find it, just tell me. I'll make sure to give you credit. Then you got all that stuff going on. Then right here, it says, As the Covenant hideout in an old forerunner structure, the massive UNSC Rhino tank is called in to eliminate the base and keep the ancient technology out of enemy hands. The UNSC Rhino is a massive six-tread artillery tank armored with the prototype Zeus 320mm cannon that rotates at full 360 degrees and capable of a lockdown mode to aid in long-range bombardment. Now, most of you, well, a few of you may be wondering, where the heck is this in a Halo game? It is actually in the, a game known as Halo Wars, which is a uh, real-time strategy game for Halo. Very fun, by the way. It's probably a lot cheaper because it came out a couple years ago. But it's a very fun game to play if you, if, if you have some money lying around and, and you're looking for a good game to play and you like strategy games, real-time strategy, then uh, this is the Halo Wars is the game for you. I have it. I love it. I play with all my friends. Uh, my friend Nate and Taters, Zafish, all my Xbox buddies, they're really good at it. It's fun to play. But let's start off with the minifigures. First off, for the UNSC, you get a Marine. Uh, basic kind of marine. He comes armed with a uh, bow rifle. Nice detailing. Pretty much like uh, the regular marine with the camel pants and the green armor and everything. One thing you will notice is this all new uh, radio backpack. If I can get it off his back. It's like a communications backpack for with radios and stuff. It screws right in with the peg right here. This part actually comes off the antenna. You just put it in like that. And it is bendable. But it's a really nice radio backpack. You can put on any marine or anyone really. You just put it right in the peg hole in the back. And there you go. And you just, like I said, comes with a standard black battle rifle. Next, you get a awesome red scout Spartan with an ODST chest. He His helmet's really cool. It's the scout helmet from Halo 3. Really cool looking. Really kind of intimidating if I had to go up against him. Then he has the scout shoulders from Halo 3, which are really detailed. They even have those little dots at the exact points, just like in Halo 3. Then, like I said, normal ODST chest with some black detailing. The other shoulders, then the rest of him is just normal. And he comes with a regular black assault rifle. No detailing or anything, just your standard assault rifle. Now, I'm not sure if my set was faulty or something. From what I understand, this was supposed to come with two grunts, but for some reason I have four. But whatever, that's still cool. So, for my set at least, yeah, see, the f couple ones I got were kind of broken like that. So, I don't know if it's just me or if they're all supposed to be like this. But, um, you get four. Well, I got four. I think you're supposed to get two. Really cool uh, newly designed grunts. They're the new version of the grunts, but in yellow. The uh, awesome looking grunts. This one has a uh, plasma pistol and plasma grenade. The other one you get has a plasma grenade as well. Nothing special about that. Next one is the same thing. But he comes on with your standard needler. No detailing, just standard purple needler. Then lastly, you get this grunt armed with a uh, purple fuel rod gun with detachable uh, fuel rods. So he can hold that and blast away at that rhino, although it probably will not do him any good at all. But for the uh, the armory portion of this, it's for the scout Spartan, obviously. You get a uh, new torso, standard looking torso, with uh, some different scout variants. 
Then you get these two shoulders, or arms, I guess. That come in a lot of other Spartans, but still nice to have the armory portion of it. Now, before I get to the rhino, which I know you all want to see so desperately, I, of course, have to show you the smaller portion first. The, um, foreign structure. So, it's very cool. Sort of like the uh, foreign structure from the Warthog Resistance, but obviously the Covenant are occupying it. So, uh, you get this right here. There is a uh, plasma turret, just chilling for the grunts to use, and a pl uh, plasma shield. Really nice detailing, too. All this is printed. So is all that. All the coloring is cool. So that's really, really nice. Semi-see-through. You can kind of see through the middle. Then you got some plants. Two of them. Then you got this forerunner structure with some stickers there, there, and there. I'm not exactly sure of the purpose of this, mostly because we know a little about the forerunners from Halo. But it is a cool, nice piece to have. It's a, it, it is a really neat kind of forerunner structure. To me, all these foreigner structures that come in these new sets look a little bit like um, structures from the past Halo games. Halo Wars, Halo 3, Halo 2, Halo 1. They all look similar, but they kind of shrunken down versions. So, in the box, it looks like some kind of beacon type thing. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Looks like it's... Um, in Halo 1, the, when you first saw on Halo, you find some marines on a structure, and... Uh, it's kind of like this, just obviously a lot bigger. But uh, it kind of shoots these beams up, and they're all over the place. So I'm wondering if this is like a smaller version of that or something. Like it's a little relay or something, but I just, I don't know. But pretty simple to put together. Just build the base, build these, and they're held together by the invisible rods right there. And this one, there we go. They're all held together like that. But pretty much basic, and it's all put on a ground plate. So a pretty much basic foreigner building. But now what you all want to see, and I'm pretty sure is the coolest, one of the coolest sets out of the summer sets, the UNSC Rhino. Now this is the king of tanks. Like, no tank can beat this guy. It's just massive. It's so big it has two cockpits to hold the guys in. One man's the cannon. But before we start, there are a lot of stickers. As you can see, there's stickers there, stickers there, stickers there, stickers there, stickers there, stickers right there on the side. More stickers, kind of visible on the side. Those are stickers. They're just stickers, stickers, stickers. And there's small ones behind all these. But it does come with six treads. Pretty much the biggest tank I've ever seen in my life. But there are six treads. The back ones are, they're all really like your basic scorpion treads. The back ones have a cool little feature, which I'll get to in a second. But let me turn this to the side for you. There's no really good place to grip it, unfortunately, but it's still pretty cool. So these are, this is a side view of it. And uh, the cool thing about this is that the turret does do a 360 degree rotation flawlessly. Like, there's no kind of resistance at all. And the head, or the turret, does move all the way up and down. And these are like kind of these concussion shot cannons, if you play Halo Wars. They're kind of like a secondary cannon. So if it's shooting at something close range, it can fire these babies and take a bunch of people out. While firing, it's ginormous cannon, which can really take out anything if it really wanted to. It is, it's a beast. Then uh, the first hatch is actually on top of this cannon. You can fit a marine or anyone in here. Let me give you a little close up. There, as you can see, there's a seat in here for him to sit in, and there's a steering wheel. I'm guessing so he can turn the head and whatnot. But it does just close. So that is the first hatch. Like I said, it's big, so they need a driver to actually control the cannon itself. The second hatch is right here, and it is the driver's seat. Same design, steering wheel right here. Seat right there, hatch just comes to a close. So that's really cool. You can fit a bunch of guys in here. That's what I really like about this set. And the treads on this set do move very fluidly. Nothing bad about them at all. They move very well. But let's get to the back here. Let me just turn this. So, on the back, I don't really know the function of this thing right here. 
I don't know if it's like when they fire a shot, if it discharges like a shell or something out the back. I don't, I don't really know. I should pay attention to that more in Halo Wars. But as you can see, there are more stickers here and all over the place. Let me scoot this forward so I can show you a cool feature. Uh, to fire this from long range in Halo Wars, you actually need uh, to keep it stable. So you can uh, actually kind of kind of stick it to the ground. Kind of, it, it can it can grasp the ground with these. They move down like so, and they are able to grasp the ground in the back. So when the tank fires, it doesn't fly back. It kind of these kind of absorb the shock when it fires. But they do fold and they clasp the ground and they do move to clasp other things if you so desire. But they're on the back, so that's really cool, and they have the caution stickers on it. So that's really neat. And uh, I forgot to mention, these plates, there are six of them, one for each tread. These are printed, which is really cool. They're really nice printing. And there's more stickers right there. Then right here you have um, kind of fans, I guess, to kind of cool it down. Because a tank like this probably generates a lot of heat when it fires its cannon and its other cannons. So I'm guessing those are kind of like a cool down fan. And here's a off center sticker here, because as you guys know, I am not the best with stickers. Although I think I did a pretty good job at these caution stickers. And then there's the small sticker. There's a bunch of them. There's some on that one, some on that one. And there's small little kind of arrow ones. But the side view. It is the exact same as the other one, but all in all, it was a fairly easy set to construct. It'll take you a little while, maybe an hour at most, just based on the fact that it's huge. You actually assemble the treads first, all six of them. They're all really the same build, so that's kind of the boring part. You do the same thing six times, except for the back two, you construct the, the clasps, the things to hold it in place when it locks down. That's the only really boring part about it, but then next you assemble the cannon, the giant cannon, which is really cool. It's kind of a fun build. It's all symmetrical, and it's really neat to build, especially when it comes together. And uh, I probably mentioned this earlier, but the turret does move very fluidly, a lot better than the other scorpion tanks. And um, then next you assemble the body, and then you just put it all together, pretty much like a normal scorpion. But it is very massive in size. Let me give you... A big view here. It is really big. It's it dwarfs the scorpion tank. The rhino is just way, way, way bigger. But I really like it. If you have, it's a bit on the pricey side at eighty bucks. But if you have eighty bucks lying around and you want to buy a good set, I would recommend this one. On um, toywith.com is where you can buy it. Like I said earlier, they have lots of good stuff. Lots of really good stuff. So if uh, you want to buy anything Halo related, they have a place to go to. They make the best stuff, and they're really easy. And they get it to you fast. I ordered this less than a week ago and they got it to me yesterday. But anyways, that is all there really is to it about the Scorpio, or the Rhino, UNSC Rhino. Great set, 5 stars out of 5. 80 bucks, so a bit on the pricey side. If you choose standard shipping at Toyways, it'll cost you about $87, so almost 90 if you want to get it off Toyways. I don't know if it's available in any regions in stores at the moment. I live, like I said, in a bunch of other videos in Arizona, so we get things last, so um, I usually have to order stuff online. But um, it probably is available in some regions at the moment. As of now, I am not sure which ones it is exactly available at, but I'm sure you can find it if you look around hard enough, or you can order it online. But anyways, guys, I'll have more reviews coming for you soon. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.